Hello, so I wanted to make a video just to show uh, the, the quality of what I'm getting for my mister to a old school composite input only CRT. Um, as you can see, it's a base DE10 Nano with a RAM chip, a cheap $7 USB hub. There is a VGA to composite converter I already had. There's an HDMI uh, audio extractor, again, that I already had. Um, if I didn't have all this, it's probably better just to buy the I.O. board for the audio alone. Um, and I have a uh, HDMI to VGA dongle that I, again, I already had. Um, so this is more about my buying a mister to, to get started with it and then how to get it on my old CRT setup. Uh, now, what's the reason this is a video, I have a link below to my blog about how I go over all of this, is to show the flicker when it first starts up and when you load cores, and to give you an idea of the quality. What you see right there, those bars are from the VGA to composite converters base output. So here comes the mister. It's not auto-aligned. Now, what's really cool and the reason I'm, I'm making a video and documenting this is just... Uh, how little I, I made zero changes to my mister's config completely zero changes i could pick this mister up go to my hdtv sit on my couch play it on the big screen or come over here and plug it in and load and play on the old crt to get those retro feels now you see loading the game takes a second and then it gives me you know exactly what you want to see um just a quick quick simple color bars uh the video quality seems good to my eyes um maybe from playing on LCDs with emulators for so long. Um, just having it go on the CRT is itself a big uh, fit. Uh, really important, um, and I, I use this grid, the base picture out of the mister through the VGA converter wasn't perfect. So my VGA to composite converter does have an OSD screen where you can do horizontal vertical size and position and everything else. And this grid is very useful for figuring that out. Now, if I go, I'm going to load a different core. Um, should be Neo Geo because we, we do. Um, and give it a second. It needs to figure out life. So this is one of the downsides of this setup. Um, we can load and, and see what it looks like. Uh, the flicker and the bars that you're seeing are the flicker of some of the flicker on the screen, at least is from the the. It, the phone camera but the system does work um i'm going to small speakers because the tv is actually mono um that's why the audio extractor was there well that to get audio in general I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this goes. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what kind of quality you can get with just the base mister and some extra external components. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, I probably will still buy that analog IO board later on down the line, but for now, this does seem to work fairly well. Hope it helps.